um, do make time for you. And it's a lot easier to get out into the community services. Well, I'm a college student, so being in the community was very helpful because I could still go to college and um, finish that up while getting the support here that I needed. Uh, the real impetus was to find a better way of uh, dealing with the volume of mental health patients that were showing up at the emergency department. And we were finding that we had a lot of patients that were coming in in crisis that we did not have an easy way of dealing with and transitioning back to, a, to the community, which is really where they needed to be. These were patients that didn't need uh, complex, sustained inpatient mental health care, but they needed a transition to deal with a, a temporary life crisis. And this was a way of, of, of finding a way to break down that barrier between what historically has been silos in the system. And we saw it as a real opportunity to, to help our patients navigate and get the care and get access to the care they needed in a, in a speedy and timely way. About three or four years ago, I, I think the, the message was go to the Emerge Department if you need mental health support. And we know it's a very busy place, the Emerge Department. Uh, it's not the best place to be when you're in a mental health crisis. So when you look at now, you have individuals that know now they have a crisis wellness plan. They will call our call center, which is located in Whitby. They'll be triaged if they can use a mobile visit, they'll have a mobile visit that will come out to them. If not, uh, and they need a bed, they'll have a bed and they'll be admitted to the to a crisis location. When they come to the crisis location, as this location, it's a very quiet, home-like environment, very much like their own home, with which they've come from. Um, so before they're discharged back to their own home, there's a plan that's set in place. And it, it talks about ways to deal with their crisis, but also to give them ideas and support to prevent them from going back to the, to the hospital. The nurse is part of the ACT, ACT team, which is an, uh, a, a high intensive treatment team. And, and provincially, all the ACT teams in Ontario were, were provided a step down nurse, a funding for a step down nurse. And the point of that was to take some of the overflow caseload from an ACT team and continue to work with individuals in the community. So as we set up, our system with our case management, our peer support with the ACT team, there'll be one system that will be set up. And so client flow will happen from the hospital to the ACT team, to the step down nurse, to the case management, to the peer support, maybe to crisis services, but it really is all dependent on client need at the time. But the point is, it's one system versus a hospital system and a community system. Because we think that it's such an important uh, aspect of a seamless system of services that we have been supporting the Ajax Crisis House by providing $200,000 that helps to support the operations of the house. So here, I mean, I've played baseball with them, I've played cards, I've played on the computer, um, they've helped me with schoolwork, so it's just been really great. It's uh, an amazing um, partnership between the hospital and community, and really it's become a seamless, seamless system. Whether you're in the hospital or the community, it's sort of interchangeable. So, very good for the patient.